Well, let's continue with our third finalist. Selamat datang. Kita jumpa lagi di Zerede. Tapi sebelum tu, saya rasa uh, penonton ingin lihat bagaimanakah journey Encik Zerede daripada mula hinggalah ke tahap uh, akhir. Kita kita saksikan. Ya, yeah, daripada saya susah senang tu kalau kita buat satu projek, kita cuba habis kalau. Itu bersama Pak saya kalau genggam berapi, dia tanpa kerja di bawah. Jadi setakat ini, dia tu uh, terpilih tadi ada telefon. Yeah. Dan saya dulu kat Belda Dan saya jadi sebahagian daripada Kongres sana Kalau boleh benda ni Kalau boleh membantu orang di situ juga lah Saya dan Ben Saya ingin kenalkan alat pembunuhan Bini sawit Masalahnya bini sawit yang telah naik Dia pun berusaha menggunakan tangan Jadi dia membongkok Sekarang ada jalan itik kan Kemudian lambat Tutup Bini sana ni Tutup Bila mana bahagian tak kena kita bersihkan Kita tutup sini Oh, dia buat benda kecil je. Dia macam, dia macam bapak-bapak kecil je. Itu dia buat suai, dia buat kena batang dia kan. Ha, tak tahu. Dia kata nak buat untuk pembunga pergi sangit juga. Siang malam buat benda ni. Tak sangka boleh jadi macam ni kan. Okay. Okay, saya nak jadi macam abang buat dia. Benda besar ni dapat juga mengubah ke depan tu ni. Untuk masyarakat semua. Abang, aku dah sangat berasa bangga sebenarnya sebab abang je kat kebiasaan. Dan kita akan sentiasa doa untuk kerja yang abang dan kita sentiasa Sokong dan Kan semua saya Abah Bula Abah Abah saya sayang Saya Abah Apa lah harapkan dan Udin Mak rasa sejuk Hati Masa Abah Mak dengar Udin Mereka nak jadi Saya berasa Sangat dalam kehasil So pada Kongsi saya Yang saya tu Saya ucapkan Terima kasih Bapak saya uh, Bagi support Saya pun apa Saya rasa dia pun Mudah agak Kejayaan saya Abang ni dah lah hebat benda ni Tak sangka pula pandai mereka cerita ni kan Rasa macam Balik ni kelawan lah dia ni Tengok tu pun cempil lah Saya tak sangka dia boleh buat macam tu Saya suatu sangat Saya terfikir kalau Negara tu tak ada Bapak sawit Pun agaknya boleh kita guna kat benda Benda ni boleh buat Jenis purpose juga Contohnya kita boleh Renovik sikit tapak kita Kita boleh gunakan untuk pembunuh sampah Dia sesuai untuk pembunuh sampah yang Lama lah okay, Renovik datang dengan satu keluarga peneroka Mungkin generasi yang kedua Berapa ringgit kah? Uh, rasanya Paedah pendapatan tambahan Yang boleh didapati oleh satu keluarga peneroka itu Dengan menggunakan uh, Alat yang kita uh, ambil Kita Dalam 50-60 ringgit satu tan Itu depend keluasan Sawit lah sekarang satu ekar boleh satu tan Kalau orang ada sepuluh ekar boleh dapat sepuluh tan lebih Musim sawit tu akan dikira Semasa menggunakan yeah. Dalam keseronokan Memetik tu Kemungkinan tercucuk kaki sendiri Macam <laughs> mana tu? Dalam apa aspek kita buat Kalau kemahiran itu penting Kita main golf, main tenis, saya main tenis Kita perlu ada kemahiran skill <laughs> Ya, yeah, orang kata bila dah dapat rentak, tak ada masalah Terima kasih Dan, panelis terakhir kita tidak lain dan tidak bukan ialah Mr. Lee Ka Lai Mr. Lee Mr. Lee Ka Lai I think before Mr. Lee uh, explain more about his invention Let's take a look at this journey. Actually, I think the idea started a long time ago, but it was not only on this particular project. He's done many things. He's a very handy person. So I think along the way, he has uh, tried, failed, tried, failed, and finally he's got something. Reka cipta yang berjaya masuk ke peringkat yang kedua ialah Spare tire pressure warning system. <laughs> Because uh, he's done many, many things, so there's a lot of trial and error, trial and error. So I think he's a very persistent person. You never try, you will never know. You will fail. But failure to me is the stepping stone to success. Yeah. Yeah. I think winning or losing is, is secondary. Most important thing is that I think people appreciate what he's doing, right? And that he's able to, in a way, get some kind of results out of this. 
Okay, so uh, Pa, all the best to you. All, all the hard work that you put in, hopefully uh, you will win this. And most importantly, Pa, have a good time. Okay, good luck, Pa. We have seen three other inventions just now, not the the hanger dryer, the work clock, and the, you know the motor the motor uh, survey. Yeah. Uh, those those things, uh, I'm quite convinced, if they go on the market, uh, there will be people buying their yeah, product. Meaning, uh, with your gadget, who can? Without your gadget, who can? People have been living without your gadget. Yeah. So how can you convince us of the jury that uh, you can break through into the market? You will find that a lot of accidents happen because cars are stalled by the road, waiting for help. So you take out the spare, home. The spare also let you down. But I have one puncture in five years. You know, so I... It's true. It's not, true. Not an urgent need, not a really uh, uh, clear need. It's true. You see, accidents only take once to happen. That's it. That's why we buy life insurance. <laughs> Uh, if you had a choice, would you sell the idea one off or would you rather take royalty? It's more a job specific. If my gadget can save just one life, I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. And what price can you special price? Yeah, your product. Could be sold for about 20 ringgit to the end user. It's still cheap. You don't need to wire your car, take power from your battery, no need to drill holes. You don't even have to worry about the battery because it's powered by pressure. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Lee. Okay. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is our final finalist for today. So who will walk home with 30,000 ringgit and possibly a grant from Moscow? Get up, get up, get up, it's now up to our professional judges, headed by Tan Sri Professor Dato Sikifi Abdul Raza, to make a decision. Who will be the lucky one? Witness a historical moment in Idea, Malaysian Adventures Challenge Season 1. Yeah, we're just